hello friends i hope you're doing well today i'm going to share with you some plants i got on sale and some on clearance so this batch in front of us i got this at a plant tent and they were doing their end of season sale and these will buy one get one for free so in front of us this is one of my favorite annuals this is from proven winners and let me show you the tag here And this is the Supertunia Vista Bubblegum, which prefers full sun to part sun, and it grows 12 to 24 inches. Okay, with your Supertunia, it will bloom from planting to frost, and it is hardy in zones 10A through 11B. I'm in zone 6B, so this is an annual for me and deadheading is not required in these. These, oh my God, I love these, these spread. So if you're looking for a basket or you have a huge area, these will spread for you. They're beautiful and they bloom all the way into frost. And even the year before and the previous year, my bubble gum actually came back for me, which was weird, not sure why, but it did. But this is, an annual i definitely would recommend for you you get your money's worth so these were 6.98 so i purchased one and then the other one was free and the next to it we have these beautiful impatience this was 3.79 and it looks like there's four plants in one tray and i got the other one free and with this one this should not be in full sun it enjoys some shade so i'm going to put this the impatience in a shade area and these are annuals so they're not going to come back for me and then the bubble gum i am going to probably put them in a container all right so this is this plant haul and let me show you the other plant haul okay so here is another part of my plant haul this i got from lowe's it's originally $8.48, but if you buy two of these, you get them for $10. So they were $5 a piece. And I've never seen this before. Look at it. It's beautiful. Let me actually show you the blooms on here. It reminds me of a honeycomb. Just somewhat. <laughs> it's beautiful. And to me, it's nice finding or getting a plant to put in my garden that is unique to me. I've never seen this, so to me, this is definitely unique. And you can see there's a lot of buds on here, so it's going to bloom a lot. So let's go over the requirements of this Flutter Rose Pink. It requires full sun, it blooms spring and summer, and it's a perennial, so that means it will come back in my zone. And it will grow 12 to 14 inches high and 10 to 12 inches wide. And it's not hardy in zones 1 to 4. Meaning, if you live in zones 1 through 4, this will not come back for you. I'm in zone 6B, so this will come back for me. I'm trying to get more perennials than annuals. Yes, I still have to get some annuals for colors. But you have a lot of perennials that still give you colors. I think for me, my annuals I want is mainly for my planters but in the garden i want to focus more on perennials that bloom and will come back so here's the other one here oh my goodness look at this and this might even make good cut flowers as i said before i don't know much about this plant so as i experiment with it i definitely will share my thoughts about it so i got two of these from lowe's two for ten or one for five and then let me show you this guy here Okay, look at this color. It looks like a candy. It's beautiful. This is the Arizona apricot blanket flower. It blooms spring and summer and it requires full sun. And this will grow 12 inches high and also 12 inches wide. And it's not hardy from zones one to two. So if you're in zones one to two, this will not come back for you. And look at the blooms on here absolutely beautiful love it so i was gonna buy two of these and then next to it i saw this one and i'm like you know what let me mix it up same color tone but a little difference in here and these are also five dollars for one or two for ten whichever so let me show you this other one here 
So let me know if you've ever seen any of these plants before, if you actually have one of these plants in your garden. So here's this one. This is a sunfire. It's beautiful. It blooms summer into fall and it's a perennial and it requires full sun. And it's not hardy in zones one to three, meaning if you live in zones one to three, it will not come back for you. And this is a good size. It grows 12, 18 to 20 inches high and 20 to 22 inches wide. Look at that. So that's just going to get pretty big. Look how beautiful this is. And then these two guys over here, they're from the Clarence section. So I only paid $2 for this. This is your marigold. And your marigold requires full sun. And yes, I know. You'd be like, oh my goodness, $2. It looks like it's dead. But nope, I'm going to put it in a large bowl of water and leave it to soak. And it will bounce right back up. So I got two of these. Beautiful color. And as I said, these are $2. These are from the Clarence spot at Lowe's. And over here, I got this from a local private garden center this is your canna lily and this should be the fiery orange color it looks right now but it looked orange yesterday but let me show you the tang in here so this is the canova bronze leaf orange canna and this will grow up to i think it was let me see what the tag this will grow 30 to 48 inches high. It's just going to give some height. And you kind of love full sun. And look at the orange in here. And I promise you, this is orange. But somehow it looks red. Because I made sure I got the orange. Because I have a lot of these that will give me red. So I wanted a different color in the garden. So I made sure I inspected this. And I think this was... Where's the price? I think this was $5.98 for this. Uh, only $5.98. I thought this was a pretty good price at a private garden center so this one is the endless summer blushing bride hydrangea or hydrangea i know everybody pronounces different things differently normally i say a hydrangea so this will grow three to six feet high and three to six feet wide and it prefers partial shade and it's hardy down to negative 20 degrees so if you're living in zones or uh, between zones five and up this will come back for you and it says flower is white color may age to a soft pink or blue look at this beautiful i have one already in the garden it's not in bloom as yet but when it was in bloom last year it was spectacular it stayed the white color so i love that it was the natural white color so i got this from lowe's I think this was $20. I only pay half off for it. And strangely, this was the only one in the garden center. I know it looks bad, right? But last night I watered it, left it in a bowl of water so it could hydrate. I'm just gonna pick the dead leaf off and put it in the ground and it will bounce back. Let me show you the one I have. This I got last year. So this will be the second year. And look how beautiful it is. It's tall. And you can see some blooms already coming in here but when this starts to bloom it's beautiful and what i did in fall i did not cut it back i know sometimes with hydrangeas some of them you should cut back some of them you should leave alone because some bloom on old wood and some bloom on new wood so with this one i left it alone and i think that's probably was the correct thing to do because if i had cut this down all these blooms would have gone so i'm just trying to figure out which hydrangea I should cut back on which ones I should leave alone. So this one definitely should be left alone. And look at the peonies in the back here blooming. Look how beautiful they are. Anyway, so let's go back over here. And then I couldn't help it. Home Depot, they have their bulbs half off. I purchased a lot early in the year and they're already in the ground. So when I got these, I was so excited. I just couldn't resist. I had to get them. So these are Leatrice. These are the mixed kinds. They have the white and the pink in here. And there are 55 bulbs in the pack. They're dairy resistant. They return every year. 
I fell in love with these a couple of years ago and from since then I just have to have Leatrice. So this was half off so I paid $7.50 for it. So the Leatrice before full sun to partial shade. You should plant it six inches deep and it blooms mid to late summer and the height is 32 to 36 inches and it's hardy from zones two to nine. As you can see, they already sprouted in the bag and I could see some bugs in the bag. So I'm going to get these out, rinse them off and then plant them today. And then next to it, look at this beautiful Dahlia Arabian Night. Oh, I love it. This was half off also, so I paid $5. There's two in here. And with this Dahlia, it prefers full sun. It should be planted six inches deep. The bloom time is summer to fall and it grows 36 to 48 to 40 inches high. And it's hardy from zones A through 10. So most of my Dahlias I have in pots. However, last year I accidentally forgot one in the ground and it actually coming back up. I was very surprised by that. So I'm not sure. So I'm not sure if I want to take a chance or dig them up or leave them in the pot. We'll see. But look how beautiful this is. Dahlias remind me of candy because it's like almost like you want to eat them, right? Because they look so delicious, so to speak. But whenever you buy your bulbs, I'll make, always make sure you check the bag. I did inspect this and I have an eye here. You should eat your candy. Look like candy, okay. Yeah. I have an eye here, and the other one in here also have an eye, so make sure you check that. All right, so these are the other plants I got on clearance. All right, friends, so I'm just showing you these as I get them on clearance. I don't want to hold the plants back just to make a video because they do need to get in the ground. I really hope you enjoy this video and check out your garden centers. Maybe you might find some bulbs still. If you're looking for plants, I noticed Lowe's. I haven't seen any clearance at Home Depot, but Lowe's definitely is the place to get your clearance from. Definitely. And then Lowe's, they do not have their bulbs in sale, but Home Depot does. So you just have to go out shopping and see what you can find to add some color and the beauty, beauty to your beautiful garden. All right, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.